Hey gang, we're back! And you know what that means? We got 55 rupees, and now we're gonna make a little wager. We're gonna race for 50 rupees. So basically, what he does is that a Pona is the fastest horse in the entire pack. Uh, basically. So, what you gotta do is beat um, this guy in a race. And when you beat him in a race, you uh, get the 50 rupees, plus you get the chance to win a Pona. Now, to win a Pona, you have to beat him again after you beat him this first time. But he makes it harder. He flips over to shoot. You, the great Ganondorf found out. If the great Ganondorf, the great Ganondorf found out about this humiliation. Hey, how about if you win, you can keep that horse. So what is he? What he does is he basically goes all out, and he's like, "Let's go." And basically, it's the exact same thing. So you have to race him twice. And basically, the important thing is, is to not use that last carrot because then you over, like you actually basically end up killing yourself because you end up getting a huge drop in speed. So you beat him. And then he's like, what's up with that horse? Is that a Pona? How did you tame that wild horse right under my nose? I was going to present that horse to the great Ganondorf. But I bet it on the race and I'll shoot. Ha ha ha. As long as I promise, as I promise, I'll give the horse to you. However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. So what you do is you just jump over this fence and you get this epic cutscene. You jump over the fence with no music in the background. Until yeah, about now, I believe. Do, 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 do. And sun setting, which is kind of cool. So what you do is get down. And now, thanks to Epona, we can basically do. We basically can. Well, basically, with Epona, she makes running across all of Hyrule Field way faster. And because of this, we have a lot of speed. And, yeah, exactly, we just run across the entire area. We can also just gain stuff like bombs and such. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to like the guy said to what Sheik said, to the forest. So he said come back to the forest. Do, do, do. Basically, that place, the sacred meadow, was where the forest temple was, as me and Sharon said earlier. So what we're going to do is we come in, and we realize that uh, Kokiri Village, or Kokiri Forest, is filled with monsters. Just for no apparent reason, it's just filled with monsters. So what we do is we run up here and evade all the monsters and be a total jerk about it. You know, ironically, we have not killed a single thing yet with the Master Sword. I now remember the way completely. So right here, this guy blocks the way to Saria's special place. So what you do, you pull it out. Just like I said, pull out the ocarina, and just like I said before, you play Saria's song. It opens the door for him. That melody. Saria plays that song all the time. You did? Did you know Saria? That song. Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I remember him. I I, I think he's talking about Link. Make feel bad. The Link went away. I don't know. I don't. No, those feelings. No, this is not the right way. So this must be the right way. By the process of elimination, this is the right way. So what we're going to do is actually going to stop here right before we enter the sacred meadow because we're going to need a lot of time for this next part. <laughs> 